Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to share with you my August favorites! Woohoo! I really thought I won't be able to do this video for this month just because I wasn't able to film it early. Today is actually September 3rd and I'm filming this video and I'm hoping that I could get it up as soon as I can because I'm totally late for this. But I hope you totally understand guys because we all know we love hearing each other's favorites. Mm -hmm. But before we get started, I just want to say that I have been loving my makeup look for today and yes, a makeup tutorial or a get ready with me video is coming soon so watch out for that without further ado let's just get it on with my august favorites let's begin with foundations what i have been loving this month is this covergirl outlast tea fabulous foundation this is three in one foundation primer concealer whatsoever i am in a shade of nude beige and i have been loving this just because of the shade when i apply it it's really too light for my skin but apparently this foundation oxidizes so once it oxidizes, it, it actually really matches my skin tone. Like, as you can tell right now, totally matches my skin tone. I don't really know if you could see that on camera. And this is one of the best oil control foundations out in the market today. Next to the Color Stay, which is my favorite. This is just something that I've been using for the entire month. Almost every day, this is just my go-to foundation for this month. The next foundation that I'm going to be sharing with you is this Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade of 2. 40 and this is definitely not my shade especially that I actually realized that I'm actually acidic I really think so because I've been using lighter foundations ever since and it has been working for me a lot so maybe I'm acidic but anyway the reason I have been loving this foundation although it is darker than my skin tone is that it has a very good yellow undertone you could totally tell it's darker and this I mix with my pink foundations because most foundations are actually neutral toned. Can you see that yellow? I did not swatch as much. Let me swatch more. Carly, you swatch more. So look at that. That is a nice yellow undertone. And I just mix this with my pink foundations because we all know that most foundations in the drugstore are pink undertoned or neutral undertones so we all need this yellow mixing foundation and I've been totally loving it for that since it also gives a nice luminous finish if you're using or if you're mixing it with a matte foundation. Moving on to powder, I never thought I would want this powder foundation but this is the Color Collection Ultimate Wear Powder Foundation and this one is in a shade of warm beige. And I bet you could read that because the font is just so effing big. I just love this. Not because of the shade because it looks a little bit dull on me. Neutral toned, it's pale, it's dull. But what I like about it is that it doesn't cake. Even when I apply it multiple times, it doesn't cake on my face. It doesn't really make weird patches on my face. So that's what I really love about this foundation. This has been on my makeup bag for the past month. Moving on to brow. Second love eyebrow compact. This is actually by BTLA or Beauty Treats. This is in a shade of 02 medium. I just love how pigmented this is. The wax is just so amazing. can't believe I'm swatching it. Look at that. That is so intensely pigmented. That is a wax. I know it's super dark but my hair is black so what do you expect? Powders are uber pigmented as well. Look at that. For some reason the wax has a purpley undertone and the darker shade also has a purpley undertone these are the shades of this brow kit and i've been loving this and using it almost every day of august i tell you guys although i still love my intuit powder of course but i just strayed away from it for a month i have here a bronzer that i have been loving this month this is the nyc smooth skin bronzing face powder in a shade of 728 sunny and i know this has been an american favorite i mean a lot of beauty gurus in the u.s have I've been raving about this. I got this from K Cosmetics PH and this is just a beautiful bronzer. I have it on my contours right now. It's definitely true. I am totally loving this bronzing powder. It's matte and it's just perfect for warm Asian skin tone and just love this one. I forgot to include this concealer for the face. This is the 
the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand Sable. If you want to get this, links will be down below, but I have been loving this concealer. Again, this is totally raved by almost all American YouTubers. I just can't say more about how beautiful the color of this concealer is. That Look at that yellow consistency. And a little goes a long way. Look at that. That is just so perfect for the under eye and it is also perfect to use all over the face. On your blemishes, it covers really well. It doesn't crease. And I totally love this concealer. I am in love. Now let's move on to blush. And there are two blushes that I have been loving this month, which actually has almost the same color. These are fairly new in my collection, but this other one is the MUA Makeup Academy Blusher. As you can tell, the packaging is cray cray because I use it a lot. It's just a beautiful, beautiful blush. I think I included this in my previous favorites video. It's in a shade of cupcake, and the other one is a Jordana blush in the shade of rose silk. That is a color. As you can tell, they're almost similar. They're super similar. I'm gonna swatch them for you, but I think MUA is much more pigmented in my opinion. That is the MUA one. Can you imagine you'll be getting the same color payoff as in the pan? It's just so amazing. Next, Rose Silk from Jordana. It's so similar but you can see that the Jordana one is a lot pinker while the MEA one is a lot warmer. But these two I've been loving so super duper much. For the eyes, I don't really use eyeshadow on a daily basis. But what I just do usually is using my e.l.f. Luminance highlighter and I just apply this on my lids, on my brow bone, in, on my inner tear ducts and it just brightens up my face and look at that pigmentation. It's just so beautiful. It's my only highlighting powder in my collection. Could you believe that? But this has been with me for a very long time and I still have a lot of product in there. Now for eyeliner, I sometimes apply eyeliner whenever I still have time to spare but the eyeliners I have been loving are brown eyeliners. I have here the LA Girl Glide gel liner in a shade of brown and I have this in black and champagne and I love those two as well but this one I have been loving this month it's just a beautiful brown eyeliner that is super duper pigmented. I do along with just using this and not using any liquid liner anymore because this by itself is already a liquid eyeliner. That is just perfect for every day. And I just line my eyes with this tight line, all those jazz, and I just love the color. Look at that. So beautiful. Next brown eyeliner is this Collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner. And this one is in the shade of Brown 6. This one is a liquid eyeliner, but it is such a beautiful brown color. It is perfect for everyday and perfect for brides, in my opinion. I'm swatching it really thickly. I don't know why. They're totally similar. This one is a collection one, and this is how it looks like. LA girl. Mm -hmm. We're down to lip products, but I have five lip products to share, or six. So the first one here is the LA Girl Glazed Lip Paint in the shade of Blushing. If you have been watching my previous videos, I actually made a first impression review of this one. If you haven't really watched that yet, I'll be putting the link down below. This is just a beautiful color. Oh my god, I think I put too much. There. It's just so beautiful. I never have this kind of color in my collection yet. It's a mauve pink color. They say this is actually similar to OCC Lip Tar. So really in love with this. Again, I have been loving my Revlon Color Burst Balm Stain. This is just a beautiful everyday color. What I love about this is that the stain that it leaves is actually a natural lip color that is an even stain on your lips. It's not like blotchy or whatsoever. It has an even color on your lips. I use this almost every single day of my life. Totally my go-to and I totally love this. Next thing I have in here is actually a lip balm, Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer. And I got this from Sample Room. It has very good pigmentation. That is how it looks like. That is the color. And what I love about this is that it's so minty. The peppermint scent of this is just overboard. Like they spilled peppermint all over the formulation, which I like. Totally love this. Ugh. I love this. Bare Minerals, pretty amazing. I don't know what kind of lip product this is, but it is in a shade of confidence. And I think this is a sample size. I think I don't have 
this color in my collection that's why I totally fell in love but texture is actually a lip cream that is not matte it's just super beautiful and the applicator is so nice something I got from at the lovely hi at the lovely this is from the brand Anna Sui which I actually pronounced as Anna Sui for the entire haul video of my Sephora haul video consisting of the things she actually got me so I'm sorry for butchering the name of Anna Sui I use this as a lip liner so sort. I think this is actually just a chubby lip liner because its formulation is something like a lip liner and I have been using this as a base with all of my lip products for this month. Totally love this product. Next thing I have in here is something I got from Sample Room again. It's from Color Collection Lip Perfection line and this one is in a shade of crema. This is just a beautiful pink, uh, pinkish nude peachy color. That is the swatch of it. It's so beautiful, it complements any skin tone and complements any look as well. Totally love this one. These are the lip colors I've been loving. Totally love all these. So that's all for my August favorites. If you like this video, go ahead and click like and thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Comment down below if you have any requests. Tell me what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!